when you are twenty to thirty years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're thirty to forty years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're forty to fifty years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at, right? And not do things that oh, that's very interesting. I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're fifty to sixty years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation. When you're over sixty years old, better stay with your grandchildren. So thirty years old, we people next to thirty years are the luckiest period. We have a lot of challenges, a lot of things that are happening, and with our knowledge, with our physical power, it's time. I was born in a very poor family. I never got a great education. I failed all the examinations for what reason? I don't know. Later, I realized I don't have money. I don't have technology. The only thing I competed with my people, the young people, is let's compete for ten years later. This is what I believe ten years later will be happening. So everything I do for that goal, I know ten years later this thing is going to happen. So I prepare for that because I know if I compete with him for next month, no chance. It's a challenge, but it's an opportunity. And it's an opportunity for people like us. The most difficult thing is to convincing a successful people. Ah, we tell him this is a great opportunity. He said, No, 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 no. Forget it, right? I've been doing this for thirty years. But for people like us, we're looking for opportunities in order to survive. If you want to be successful tomorrow, it's impossible. If you want to be successful a year later, it's impossible. But if you want to win ten years later, you have chance.